Hey guys, Super Anime Store here. We just want to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell and share this video with everyone you know. Enjoy the video. What's good? It is Keith Silver Sign today. Uh, what's day up, everybody? Two. Day number two by. We always film now on day number two because we're not on the first day or the last. What's up, Carlos? Carlos wants to be in here. What's up, what's not up, a guys? promotion for G Fuel, but moist critical though. The vine peach. This is really. This is getting me going. My favorite flavor is sour chug rug. So for G Fuel. Sour slug rug. Chug rug. Chug rug. Chug rug. Is that the Sonic one? No, it's the blueberry. What's but the Sonic like, one? Sonic one's like uh, with Sonic rings. It's like a tangy kind of. This is like a blue pineapple? Not really, it's like an orange. Oh, blue orange, okay. Like blue oh, orange. Let's, let's leave Carlos there. We're gonna go um, check out the VIP, yeah. so. Boom. What's up, everybody? We are now in the back. I'm trying to whisper. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's picking me up to this little mic. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're in the back. And right now... Keith is doing the VIP, so I'll give you guys a little peek, peek at that. This is the reference they gave me when I auditioned for this. They were like, this guy somewhat. Yeah, I would like to get like a um, Coyote Star commission because I commission this uh, this particular artist like often. Like, um, yeah, well they're a great artist, I love this. Alright, so how do you want this, because you were very specific about where you wanted signatures, I want to honor that. Can I put Alex Usher here and then... Oh, we don't have to do your name. Sure, just signature? Yeah, there's a... Oh, uh, over here, or do you want it, like, somehow off the character, like here? That's, a, that's the biggest space that's not touching him. All right. Yeah, like, the, I don't know if you've heard of a game of Leech Brave Souls. Um, like they Is that the one that Stark's in? No. No, Stark's, like Stark's in a Bleach game. I know he's in one of them. Yeah, but like um, he like they, the the game developers for that like um did like oh, like a whole like redesign of him. Like I um, mean, he looks freaking awesome. Like let me find it real quick. There it is. So that was, again, the VIP section. You guys are totally missing out if you don't get the VIP section. I promise you, I'm telling you. It's super personal, it's super cool. Each session, 30 minutes, um, and if there's not enough people, we put everyone in, you get a whole, basically, hour, which is pretty sick. But some people even bought two sessions, you know, for sharing me last time, and this time Keith, you know, we got some VIP in here, and they get to talk to him, get to chat with him, there's no rush, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and let's go see everybody in line. It's almost one, so yeah, peace. All right, everybody. Yes. Keith is ready. We're gonna start opening the door. He wants you guys to make some noise. He wants to hear you from inside. So one, two, three. Yeah! What's up guys, Super Anime Store here. It's another super chat. Uh, this time it's gonna be in the vlog, same way we did it with Jeremy. And today we have Keith Silverstein. Or Steen, depending on where you're from. Steen. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from over there, yeah. you say Stein. <laughs> we're, if you're we're from, from over here, you, you say Silverstein. 
Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great. And uh, this is super chat we're having. Yeah, super yeah. chat. So okay, it's, it's got to be. See that they put the pressure on me immediately. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have a super chat, so now it's got to be good. This has got to be uh, all right. Let's let's go for it. I mean, it's already good. I mean, <laughs> when when I when I saw, you know, like I already knew that you were Char because I'm such a big like Char fan. Okay, sure, so sure. I was like, okay, he's coming. Who else? Oh, he's so gone. That's where it sounds familiar. And then it went down the rabbit hole, and then Zassa Lamel, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then. Now you know the difference between you and I. Yeah. (laughs) Good stuff. stuff. And then, um, who who were you excited for that he was coming? uh, Hisoka, because I have have a a friend of mine who's obsessed with Hisoka. Uh huh. I play with him on on Fortnite, pretty much. Okay, sure, sure. (laughs) He doesn't like me doing doing this. Uh huh. uh, He's obsessed with Hisoka so badly, I nicknamed him Ben Soka. So oh, okay, because like, his name's Ben? Yeah. Okay, well, that's part of, that's an <laughs> important part of that. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like, why Ben Soka? What does that mean? Well, Got it. Carlos will get a kick out of this. Uh, Keith, you told me you're from Jersey. I am. He's from Jersey. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> hey, we're, we're Jersey brothers. I'm see? Union County. Union County. So it's nice, like, I love it. Gotta love it. The, 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 the simple question that we'll ask is, when, when did you start voice acting? Last week. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I should give like different answers. So those of you who are tuning in, you may get some different answers. And if you check it against other interviews, you may be like, you know what, one of these is not true. <laughs> um, but you'll never figure out which one it was. Stay tuned. Uh, I started in. I started just before 2000. I was probably like 1999, 98. That was when I was getting started. But I, I started really starting to really get some work <clears throat> in 2000, 2001. By two, I think by 2002 or three, I was doing it full time, I think. Okay. That's right. And was it as easy i guess as it is now for voice actors to like kind of carve their path or did you just i don't know that it's easy i mean i think everybody with acting always has a different experience yeah so i don't think it's an easy thing to get into at all um and i really stuck with it i listened to a lot of old stuff that i did and and where i was at like really old auditions and i thought i was a lot better than i was if I, if I, <laughs> no but i, I mean honestly yeah. like you think like you're like man i'm nailing this and you listen back to stuff sometimes from like 20 years ago and you're like you know what i mean uh you know, but it teaches me because, like, I meet people all the time who are like, here's where I'm at, or here's my demo. And I go, yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. And actually pretty good if you keep working on that. It's not like there's not, you know what I mean? And you're like, you keep working on that, like, you can do it. You just got to stay determined. So it took me some time. And it was a lot of work, and uh, the, the, the gigs I got were few and far between. Um, I never got anything that felt like a big break. And if it did, it just was an illusion. That's one thing I learned. Like, cool. I got this series, it's supposed to be 24 episodes, it's going to be great, you do six episodes, and then it just, like, falls apart, and that's it, they're done, it's yeah. not going to happen. Which is normal, mm. I mean, that stuff happens, but, you know, every time something happens, it makes you kind of think, oh my god, and look who I'm working with, and um, one of my first gigs I worked for was uh, Chuck Jones' final gig, Chuck Jones of Looney Tunes oh, fame, wow. it was an internet cartoon called Thomas Timberwolf, and uh, I thought, oh, this is... Those this is a big fans deal. Are like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there are some out there. I'd be more probably Chuck Jones fans that would maybe know that. But uh, you know, that was a that was a big deal. It was really cool. It's still one of the coolest things I've ever worked on. But um, because of that tie-in, but uh, but you know, that didn't become like a, it wasn't like I became a household name. Yeah. That wasn't even my goal, by the way. But it didn't <clears throat> make it so I you know oh that's it that's all I have to do. I can retire. Everybody's throwing work at me now. It's just, it's, you know, it's always a bit of a, of a struggle. It took a while before work was regular. And have you, do you feel, um, a, a lot of people, I, I recently, like, still trying to find, like, my actual career and, like, what I want to study in. Right. Uh, a lot of people have, like, they're obsessed with what they actually love doing. Are you actually, like, obsessed with <coughs> voice Sorry. acting? Do you, like, listening to other people, like, behind the booth and... So you, are you still finding yourself learning and studying voice acting? There's always more to learn, mm-hmm. um, I think, in anything in life. Definitely there's more for me to learn in voiceover. There's always new things to try, new characters to explore. Um, and some things take a while. Meaning I might have an audition for something and go for it. I'm like, this is kind of weird for me. But go for it and I audition if it's one from home. I might listen back to it after spending 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Maybe I spent a lot of 30 minutes on it. like, dang, yeah. I want to really get this. And then I might be like, you know what? I'm not even sending this. Like, I'm, it's not where it should be. Strangely enough, you might get that a similar character in like six months and have a much easier time because of that work you put in before. Like, you seem mm. to have like grown from that. So, uh, so there's always something to learn. I don't think I'm obsessed. I, I am. I find uh, my colleagues to be incredibly talented. 
So the way some people go, oh my God, how do you do what you do? I do that with my colleagues all the time. I'm just, <laughs> no, because everybody brings something different. Yeah. So I can't listen to other people and go, oh, I can do that. I do that. Like that's not that's not first off who I am, um, but also they bring something different to it that I go, ooh, that's cool. Like <laughs> I like that. I wouldn't have thought of that, or I can't do that. I don't have that voice type. So uh, so I'm not obsessed, but I, I, I enamored. Have you? Uh, what are you gonna say? Does that like bring you like in a different element of what you hear with the voice actors you work with? You mean do I steal from the other actors? Hell yeah! <laughs> no, I mean no, like <laughs> element. From element. Everybody. <laughs> what do you mean element? Like I, it's you can learn from anybody you're listening to. Do some. You can also just be inspired by. So I could go to a, I could just go see a, pl- a play or something, and I could be blown away <clears throat> and just inspired by it, and then come home and feel very creative. That doesn't mean anything I create after that or soon after that has anything to do with what I saw yeah. except that I was motivated. You might come home and write a song after that. It depends what you, how you express yourself. Yeah. But yeah, it could give me that, that extra like, creative energy, that juice that makes me go up, come up with something totally different. So, we, um, I think one of our, I guess, favorite questions is like, what character do you feel like you kind of... Um, or not kind of, but maybe you feel like you missed out on voice Ooh, acting. I don't know if I have that. I'll say, hey, Larry, can you do me a favor? Larry's off to the side. Don't worry about it. Can you <laughs> grab me my water that's over there? Sorry, I've been chatting like all day. Now. I'm realizing <laughs> yeah. I should have. I know I'm wearing the mask. Otherwise, I'd be sipping water in between. Don't worry about it. But I'm like, if it's I don't good, drink water, I'm going to be like. Bleh. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the one I already drank out of. Is that me? That's totally fine. The little one's mine. The little one's mine. Yeah. This is crazy, right? Is this. <laughs> I, I, like, honey, I that's shrunk. All you had all honey, day. I shrunk the voice actor. <laughs> Hey, those are worth it. Two dollars for that? That bottle will look normal in Shaq's hand, let me tell you. I'm sure it would look normal in Shaq's hand. It does make me feel like I've been drunken. All right, sorry. Which is important to keep hydrated. And uh, I'm usually really good at it, but, you know, we just did a big signing today. And it's funny because when you do a signing, because for me at least, being extra cautious still with COVID, you know, because I'm meeting so many people. Right. Yeah. That becomes an issue because I don't drink as often because I have to every time take off my mask. No, yeah, uh, Shami and Bryce had mask on and until the podcast, yeah. but they had their mask on and I totally understood See? it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. No, it's it, and you know like we even I mean and thank you too like you're you're risking your career just coming out to do these signings. I mean in a sense you, you oh are God. you know like because yeah. if you get sick you know that that takes time away from you. Doing yes, your I'm risking. So. I am risking some potentially some work, but you know you could argue that risk is. It's well, higher, higher when you're meeting hundreds right, of people, yeah. but, you know, it, you could have it anywhere. So, so I'm sorry, the last thing you asked was, are, do am I ever like, I wish I got that role, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, I, not much, because one of the coolest things that I think about this kind of career is that you can't plan it out. Meaning, like, if I had said in the beginning, like, dude, I'm going to play all the hero roles, uh, or I'm just going to do uh, trailers, movie trailers. I want to be a movie trailer guy. Well, you know, there's a whole lot of, aspects of voiceover and maybe <laughs> you don't get any trailers maybe you're awesome you excel at commercial work and every once in a while you get some animation right. um you're not going to turn that down that's good money you're going to do that yeah. <clears throat> maybe you play a bunch of villains that's your thing uh maybe you just get into a thing where you're just like the guy they go to for all those like sunday 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 you know um kind of you know re- car wreck nascar you know commercials <laughs> on the radio and um if that's your lot and that's what you're getting great so when I book a character and I voice a character, I get be a, a very attached, like that was supposed to happen. I feel like mm-hmm. that's my path, you know, whatever, however, which way you trace it, and, and I didn't plan it at all, I'm happy with that, because it gets me to the next place. Yeah. So all the characters, even the little tiny ones that y- you don't remember, or I can't even name right now that I did 15, 20 years ago, got me to where I am today. So I, I never feel like, I wish instead of this, I was that, or if only I were. I have aspirations of things I want to do in the future, but I don't look back much because you have so little control over anything except doing your best. You can't go, I'm going to get that. I mean, you can, and that determination can help you get it, and you can work extra hard, but it's not a guarantee. You can't just be like, here's right, what I'm going to do, yeah. then here's what I'm going to do. It's yeah. not like, study this many years, and then I will be a doctor, and then I will do this, and at this much time, I will get my own practice, and the, you can't do it the same way with voiceover, because you can't guarantee any of that stuff. So, um, so no, no, not really. <laughs> but, I, but there are franchises I want to work in, because I'm a big pop culture junkie, so... You know what I mean? Like I want to be in, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek and Mortal Kombat oh, and Star Street Wars, Fighter. I feel like it's just 
Like, especially with the new series, Andor, I don't know. It's good. It's so I good. Just don't ruin the last episode. I think I'm, I'm only two in. I haven't seen this yet, so... I haven't finished five. I'm, like, still watching it. Did, did they get the five? Yeah. Oh, see? I'm, I'm like, three behind. It, yeah. See? Uh, yeah, don't, 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 you should watch it. It's good. It. It's really good. Unless it's, yeah. unless it's super drops all of a sudden, it's amazing. No, the writing is just still, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's still good. going up, yeah. It's good. So, oh, so you would, um, well then in your field you would, uh, want to be in like a, a character in Star Wars, like the Clone Wars type animation. Sure. Yeah. Who would, who would great. you want to be? If they, if it's someone that hasn't been picked or re, like could re, uh, recast. I don't know, um. I don't know that I have a favorite Star Wars character that I think aligns with, like, who I am. Like, in Marvel, I'm a big Daredevil fan. So, in particular, <clears throat> I would love to be able to voice Daredevil. Am I the right voice for Daredevil? I don't know. But uh, I would sure give it a shot if that audition came my way. And, and, with, and with those things like Star Wars and, and even with other Marvel, like, anybody. The bigger the character, the cooler. I feel like you could be Pelican. You think Palpatine? I think you could be. I think I think you could do. That Palpatine. would be great. That would yeah. be awesome. <laughs> no. I, that would be fantastic. I would say I would say Obi Wan Kenobi. Ah, nice. That would be can you cool. can you can you do a hello there? <laughs> hello there. Hello there. Oh, but I'd work see, on it. I don't know. I feel like do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I yeah. Feel like, I can't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I have all those voices <laughs> in my current bank that I can just pull out because I've worked on them. There's a lot of people that do those voices already very yeah. successfully. When I fantasize about a gig, like what the best gigs are, are not specifically for me characters that already exist. And I use the Joker a lot of times as an example. Like, everybody wants to play the Joker. Would I like to play the Joker? Of course I would. You're always going to be one of the Jokers, and you're always going to have, like, Mark Hamill's the best Joker. I mean, pretty much. That's what, that's what it's yeah. going to be. And, that, and, and, that, and that's not because other people who've done the Joker don't do an uh, incredible job. They do. But kind of pop culture's already decided who the best is. And even if that varies a bit, you're still one of 75 people. Which I would jump at. So don't get me yeah. wrong. I would totally do it. Wait, and that, I would love it. That's how many Jokers there? I don't know. But oh, been, oh, they've been doing Joker for a long time. You speak so... Like, you sound so <laughs> trusting and factual. No, I, I lie <laughs> most of the time. So just know that. But, yeah. um... But that's one thing. But, like, Tom Kinney got to play SpongeBob SquarePants. Like, all mm. the SpongeBob Square. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he created him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, that's yeah. his character. And so, yeah, you might watch it in another language somewhere. But I'm saying, as far as English goes, it's Tom Kenny. That's, that's, one. that's one. it. Yeah. So when I think about characters I want to play, like, to me, to me, it's cooler to be Torbjorn than to be, you know, from Overwatch, than to be another Joker. I mean, yeah, Joker's um, freaking amazing. That would be great to do. But I'm saying it's nice to play a character that's original, that's you, that the most of the world will go, oh, that's, that's you're that. Well, because now there's Overwatch 2. And yeah. Still, yeah, 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 yeah. Still, still me. So yeah, exactly. you know what yeah, I mean. So, yeah, exactly. but I'm just using him as an example because he yeah, didn't no. exist before. I wasn't like, oh, you're gonna follow the big shoes to fill. You're gonna be the new Torben. That wasn't the case for me. Yeah. I was just the beginning one. And we've, and we've, a lot of us have had opportunities like that. So that's, that, that's fun. Does that then <clears throat> um, take off pressure? Being like the one, like the first one. Well. Because then you feel comfortable, and then you feel like, okay, I, I got this. You know, I'm in the role of this character. There's a lot of things that add pressure. So um, when I did Overwatch, and while we're talking about that, it didn't exist yet. True. The game wasn't out. Uh, so there wasn't the pressure that some of the other actors who were brought in, yeah, you know what I mean, who are, you're auditioning. Maybe it was a secret. They didn't know what they were auditioning for. But at some point, they got brought in, and they said, hi, you're working on Overwatch. And then they went, okay, you know, because the world's going to yeah. hear your performance. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't have that experience with it because it wasn't out yet. Um, if I were playing, as we've used this example, the Joker, I would be like, <laughs> nerve-wracking. No, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, I'm going to do yeah. my best. But, but it's nerve-wracking because, you know, people are going to critique it and everybody's going to hear it. That's true. Make sense? Yeah. So I think if you now you, you audition for Genshin Impact, now that it's out, or Overwatch 2, now that it's out and people know what it is, yeah, it's a little bit more of a, a pressure situation. Because you know the world's going to hear it. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, sometimes I don't. Both of those two games, for me, were before they were out. Have you felt, um, how long have you been doing signings for? Oh, I, probably, I don't know. Since uh, 2005, six. Okay, so you started, oh, you started um, s sort of like early in your, in your voice acting career. You did yeah, I think I started doing just a few uh, cons a year. Um, you know, obviously smaller the cons, smaller draw, the whole thing. I've watched that kind of, excuse me, blow up over uh, the last X amount of years because anime is like, well, anime for one thing has gone crazy. 
video games, you know, we, we talked about Overwatch. I think Overwatch, I think it's the game that's, not that it deserves full credit, but it's the game that kind of when voice acting got pushed over just a little bit, pushed into like, you know what I mean? Like Johnny yeah, Cruz filmed yeah. that video and everybody saw it and people started going, these are the voices? And people started paying attention to all the video games a little bit more. Now they were already doing that, so I'm mm. not giving that game all the credit. But that's the pivotal moment that I saw, at least in my career. Because yeah. it, then, it, it then very much affected all the other games. True. Then new games came out, especially in similar style, and, and people were like, who's doing those voices? Who's that? So it's been a, a long road of just like people caring more and more about who's provi providing these voices, who is it, what else do they do? Wait, this person is the same person as that? They play these characters? You know, that's been a whole thing I've watched grow for all of us. So, since you said you watched everything below up, how is it to see... Um, we've talked about this on, like, the, uh, our podcast with people, mm -hmm. like, about, you know, us not being able to go to a store, like the Super Anime Store, and go buy your favorite anime character. It's like, you have to go and, like, maybe Kmart and, like, search for it on the internet and, like, low-key yeah. places, you know. Oh, before, like, you mean? Yeah, like, yeah. back when, like, you started saying, like, everything was very more low-key. Yeah. It wasn't You had to go to a special location to find it. Exactly. It was usually yeah. a place that also had anime stuff. You know, it wasn't usually an anime store. Like, maybe you'd go to, like, Little Tokyo or Chinatown and you'd find a store that had, you know, yeah. some stuff. You know, and, and then the corner. and in the corner yeah, they had like, yeah. oh, is this a Gundam? Oh my God, there's like seven Gundams here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, normally back then, what we had, what I had to do to get like an order to get anime figures, yeah, you either had to order it like from straight from California to ship it over here. Oh, so it's like I was in California, so we were, I guess we were setting the trend. <laughs> <laughs> it all started in San Francisco, by the way. So you see, we're there. You go. Crazy. Do you think it's nice? So you said you know you like to feel. You know, like that was the right role to play, and so do you feel like all those characters, like years ago, have left like good impacts? Like, for example, um, your character from Naruto, mm -hmm. like you're still getting signatures from that today. You know, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I mean, like still today, like that is a, a long time ago now. You it know is. what I mean compared to like your new character? It is because Naruto yeah. was uh, one of the first uh, animes that I worked on that uh, that had a well-established name that the general population knew. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like everything I worked on before that was like, oh, I kind of heard of this, or maybe you've heard of this. And then when I booked that one, it was like, oh, everybody knows this. Like, my little cousins and nephews and, you know, like people are going to be yeah, like, oh, yeah. you're on Naruto? Like, it was like a thing, you know? Yeah, because it was, um, I think you could definitely say it was, <laughs> like, for anime, you had Full Metal, uh, Naruto, Dragon Ball, One Piece. Inuyasha. Inuyasha. There was, like, some, mm -hmm. like, you know, Hunter x Hunter also back then. What's that one? Hunter Hunter. <laughs> no, what is that one? I keep hearing that. People keep bringing that one up. It's like a... Is that a good one? Did they... The uh, original OVA for like the original one, did they do a dub for that? <clears throat> for Hunter Hunter? Yeah. They did. I mean, before us, was there... An, there was another cast before us. Yeah, but yeah. for the for the dub. Yeah, yeah, for the so, dub. But it's new. It got reanimated. Right, uh, so you were in the newer animation. I'm in the newer one, which, yes. which I think is... 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it's oh, not. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not it's yeah, that yeah, new. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not new. It's but been it's around the, for a surprising the, amount of time. The same thing with JoJo. <clears throat> JoJo had an old one and then it got yeah. reanimated. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. So, so in that, did you listen to Hisoka from the old one? No. You didn't? I didn't. I prob I'm, trying, I'm trying to see, uh, remember if I heard, heard the, the Japanese. Oh, because they didn't have a dub for that one or they did? No, no, no. The one I did, there was no dub for that version. But I could have gone back and listened to. The other one in English, but I didn't. I don't, unless they're telling me we want it to sound like this, uh -huh. right? <laughs> or, or if they're saying we don't want it to sound like this, which they didn't. But I'm saying, had they said either of those things, then maybe I would have come up with something and then listened to that just to make oh, sure I'm not sending okay, you okay. what you said don't do. Or <clears throat> if they say do that, I have to listen to it first. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it will just depend on when I listen to it. If they said do this, I listen to it first and, and do that in my version of it. If they say don't do it, then I say, well, let me come up with something before I'm affected by that. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I like. Now let me listen to that and see if I got to change it because I wouldn't want it to affect my creation of it, you know. Right. So they, so in that and with Isoka, you didn't have to fill in any shoes because you didn't know it actually that the you didn't actually never heard. No, that. but I knew I knew the I didn't know right away, but I I figured out pretty quickly that the character was a big deal. Oh. The reason you do that <laughs> is because you, <laughs> if you just go into a search engine and you start doing Hisoka, Hisoka Hunter, like yeah. you, you know, with a lot of characters that are like fairly popular, you might get a few pages of images and stuff. But mm -hmm. when you type in somebody and it's just like comes up and it just keeps going, you're like, 
Oh, damn. Yeah, took, <laughs> oh, damn. His, if his, they don't like this, the, the, the yeah. fans are going to say a lot. They're going right. to have a lot to say about this if they don't like it. No offense, I make fun of you so a lot. Because I, like, I usually, like, okay, you know how he centralizes the name Gone so many times? Oh, he just says What do you mean? How does he do it? Gone. Like, get up, <laughs> you get mean, up on that mic. You mean, you mean how Keith does it? <laughs> No, no, no. Get, get, you gotta get really close to that no, mic and do it. Because I was watching the uh, the Japanese version yesterday. Oh, I'll get out of here. And then, no, and then <laughs> fantasize it so much in the Japanese version more than the Amer on the, the dub version. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't know that. No, no, no. no but I mean, no. I wouldn't have. I only did that for for me. No, it was funny, when it was though, a moment it, it needed funny. to be done. It's funny. You I wouldn't do it every time he said "gone." Just because. <laughs> why would no. I do that? No, and like Japanese is <clears> gone. <throat> Like, it I'm sounds like uh, Dr. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what man. version were you watching? Mike uh, Myers uh, as. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> uh, Goon. That's awesome. If they ever made a live action Hunter Hunter, I don't know what actors would be. That'd be funny. It would probably be the Japanese doing a live action and then yeah. him dubbing over the live Guys, action. That, that would be. Well, let's be. I, they should never probably make that. They, yeah, 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 I agree. It's just yeah. too. It's too hard. Some. I, I'm all for animes being made into live actions if it makes sense. Like I worked on an anime called Monster. Yeah. There's no reason that has to be an anime. You know, it's a psychological thriller. The, you know, there's no supernatural anything that couldn't be done easily. That makes sense. But if you're like, it's tough, I think, if you go, like, let's do Dragon Ball Z in live action. It's like, there's so many effects. It was bad. There's so much crazy stuff. How can you do, uh, dra or, or like, um, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. There's so much. Like, you know it's going to look weird. They did that. I believe you they have, but I'm, I'm saying without having seen them, and I could be wrong, it just doesn't seem like it would work. It doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just telling you, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I haven't yeah, seen yeah. these, so this is not me dogging those attempts. Yeah, no, Because no, yeah, I, I haven't seen any of those if they've been attempted. But I'm just saying, it seems like that's too much of an undertaking for some. Some uh, things need to be animated. There's like a few. I, I think to Tokyo Ghoul worked. Uh -huh. Sure, that seems like it could have worked. I watched I watched the first movie and the second movie, which covered, I think, about half the first season. Really good. Well, they did Death Note, yeah. and like I saw some of that. Well, no, 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 but I think Death Note could have been done. I think condensing a long series oh, into a two-hour yeah. movie, whatever, doesn't work. That just doesn't work. Definitely. So I don't even hold it against. Like, it's not like the actors weren't good in it mm -hmm. or whatever. It's, it was like, oh, they changed the story to try to make it fit. Doesn't work. So that was too just that didn't work. To, to but it could have. To tell you the truth, when I saw the both versions of it on each side, the Japanese version and the American version, yeah. the American version did not make any sense at all more than the Japanese <laughs> version I, did. Yeah, I had problems with it. I didn't see the Japanese version. I watched some, some most of the American version. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's weird. That's different. That didn't as make sense. So as yeah. it did for Ghost in the Shell. <clears throat> I eat it, put chip. <laughs> and then I eat a chip, and then I write. <laughs> sure, sure. But I don't think that was impossible. I don't think they did an un impossible yeah, undertaking. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they made it impossible by going, but here's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Condense that sucker. Good luck. Have you, um, so you, you said you are attached to your characters. Have you ever felt, oh, like, extremely emotionally attached? For example, and this one shocked me when Bryce told me when he yeah. bit his hand as Aaron Yeager. I was like, whoa. He did what? He bit his hand. Uh -huh. Like Bryce told me, he bit his hand in the studio. I was like, well, you didn't want why? why? Because why does the character bite their hand? I'm trying to understand why. Oh, you haven't seen Attack on Titan? I have not seen all of Attack on Titan. Uh, when Aaron transforms, he bite his hand to, like, Max to, get the, Max to get the blood flowing or something. So it, like, triggers his transformation. But does he make a sound when he's doing it? Yes. Okay, well, see, that makes sense to me. I mean, how hard he bit his hand would be the emotional commitment. Yeah, to it. yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. saying, like, if you're if you physically can do something, you're supposed to have your hand in your mouth biting it. Like that's exactly what I would do to make the sound instead of approximating what that sound would sound like, mm. right? I would put it in my mouth and do it. Now I might not bite really hard to make myself bleed because there's no necessity for that. Yeah. But if yeah, you want yeah. the sound of what does it sound like if your hands in your mouth like that? Yeah. Honestly, the best way to do it is to do it. It's 100 percent accurate. Have you ever felt, um, so, and what I'm getting at is, have you ever felt, like, depressed or like, super happy, like, w at being attached to what the character's going through when you're reading the lines? Um, or a little bit. I'm really good at shaking it off afterwards, mm. so I don't, I don't take my work home with me. However, you know, if I'm playing a character that's a real downer, like I played, I'm going to bring it up again, but that's just because it applies, uh, Johan Lieber in the series Monster was a, um, was just a real bad guy, just this this killer, um, and uh, he sociopath. He just didn't have any emotions for anything, 
And so I had to live in a dark place to play him. And I could get back to that voice and like joke around in between takes and get back to the vocal place, but it felt like I was cheating. Mm. It felt like I wasn't really there. So that was one of the ones where I was like, okay. Uh, Patrick Seitz was our director for that, and uh, he was great. And I told him, like, you know, I'm not in a bad mood and don't think I'm not enjoying the session or whatever. But I, <laughs> it feels really weird for me to be myself in between takes. Like, I kind of got to stay in this Oh, you got to stay to keep the character flowing. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. it didn't feel right. Like, it was like, technically, could I kind of do that? Yeah. But I'm like, did I get all the way? Like, if you imagine it, it's like, here's me, happy in this, and this guy lives here. So to be like, ha ah, in between takes, okay, here we go, we're ready, okay, here we go, ah, okay, now I'm back here, okay, here we go, ready. I felt like, am I getting all the way there sometimes, mm -hmm. am I halfway there, am I just sounding like I'm there, but I'm not emotionally there, so it, it felt very quickly like I was cheating, so I said, eh, eh, let's, like, I can't do that, I'm not mad. In, in Gundam Origin, I could hear that in Tar. Yeah. I heard, like, the, it was very nice to just hear him like not change where I could hear like a couple other of the voices be mm -hmm. a little bit different like Tar was just the same which yeah. is why I already liked it which just made it like even more like more and I was just and watching that's a, it and yeah. that's a character that uh, the changes for him were there were a couple of age changes as he got more determined yeah. and of course for me I was also looking at the full arc of vocal change to where he gets to I know he's not technically full frontal but I mean you know what I mean like to yeah, where he would have gotten yeah. to to that kind of a vibe, um, but yeah, he was he was very kind of determined and the kind of guy who was plotting everything, so there wasn't as much for him to to vary because things went according to plan. So he was just very determined. He did what he had to do. Yeah, I, I think it's it's very interesting origin actually for Gundam because it um, we're not talking too much about Gundam. We had a whole almost Gundam podcast already, but uh oh, um, we've fallen into that. Track. I feel, yeah, I feel like uh, Char <clears throat> could be the main character. You know, I, I mm -hmm. feel like. If it if it, if Gundam wasn't called Gundam, it would be called Zaku or like something you know okay. like that. You know, it'd be like Mobile Suit Zaku. You know, sure, so. sure. Yeah, <laughs> like he's got the, the Char shirt on. <laughs> Larry. He has a. He has You'll a never scent. know. You'll he's never know. You can't see him. Are we making him up? Is he real at all? <laughs> You'll never know. He's not going to make any noise. So. No, he's so. floating. He's actually flying right now. <laughs> See you, guys, you see, you guys, we have a floating head on this one. <laughs> He's floating ahead. We have a we have, we have a green spin for a reason. So he's not real. Also, um, you you don't like to know what happens to your characters. I do if it's important to know. Okay. Meaning, if the character somehow knows that, or or okay. or there's a reason. Otherwise, if the character doesn't know it, okay. then I shouldn't know it. Okay. You know what I mean? So you don't have to tell me the whole story and how it's going to end and he's going to die this way. I'm like, does my character know that? No, so why would I, that's okay, not going to okay. affect, it shouldn't affect my performance. True. But there would be bizarre situations where I need you to take it this way because this is going to happen later. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So you really need to sell X, Y, Z because mm. this change is going to happen. Yeah. So then it affects my performance and then I need to, you don't have to tell me maybe all the details, but you need to give me just enough so I know, oh, okay, so that's why I'm, I'm playing it this way so that we can see that change. Do you ever feel like... Um, because I know, like, with the Avengers cast, they actually didn't even know they were going to get blipped. You know, like... Oh, in the, they didn't know who. They didn't know cool. until... Like yeah, yeah. That's they really just cool. knew, like, you're doing this, and they didn't know. Like, um, actually, and no one even knew Tony was going to die. Only Tony knew oh, when they were wow. doing the writing. That's cool. And so, would you rather them, like, get you ready, or just be, like... Or have to eat oatmeal for the rest of your life. Isn't that how... <laughs> I don't think you're playing Would You Rather right. I don't think you're playing it right. Which, Are we so, still going? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. The voice, the recording is, so we can put, like, some of your characters on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All um, right, well, pick some good ones. No, no not that um, one. No, that one's lame. That one's lame. Let, let, let no, that's really weird. Nobody knows that character. <laughs> okay, that, there you go. That's a good one. Yeah, um, that'll give you something to play with later. Make sure you make sure you apply the right photos as I'm talking. So to, t so to tell you the truth, when uh, I heard that you were coming, I was excited because of Hisoka, and he was excited because of Char. It's uh -huh. like... We were thinking, sh should we should we do something to commemorate this event? It's like, I left all my model kits at home. <laughs> no. I left all my model kits at home. That's what happened. Okay. So and, we were planning and, something, and then and, and then just let's so make our own model. Do when, we have cardboard, when, some when, glue, maybe some popsicle sticks? We do have a uh, model glue. Let's I do it. Do let's do some glue. popsicle yeah. sticks and let's make our own Gundam. No, and when we had our last podcast with a a guy who cosplays as pretty much Gundam, Uber Uber cosplay. Uber's cosplay, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. He pre he pretty much said the whole entire time Char is never wrong. 
<laughs> yeah, Char is never wrong. Char's I was wrong. like, dude. You're obsessed with this character. Let's get. Well, because have you? Wait, have you seen it? No, I'm like. No. Okay, so we'll see. You have to. No, you don't understand why he's not wrong. You know, yeah. no, everything, no. all the actions Char took, I feel like, in my opinion, are correct. Well, no, no, you can, you can, from the outside, judge his actions. Like, is that the right thing to have done or the wrong mm -hmm. thing to do? I don't. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember Ch Char as a character making many mistakes, meaning that he would go, "Oops, I got to fix this now." Oh, well, it's because. Uh, you know, a lot of Gundam fans are split between being a, a Zeon or a Federation or like you know, right. Gundam versus Yeah, Gundam. you can have that right. debate, I'm and, saying. And, and so like they're all like, you know, what he did in Origin with the dropping the satellite. And then, like, for me, it's like, that's not wrong. <laughs> you're, you're saying he was completely uh, valid in what he did. Yes, okay. exactly. All his actions <clears throat> were That's valid. what he should have done. Yeah, yeah. sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a debate. You can yeah. always have that debate. Yeah, let's just get a little mystery to throw the rules out. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, you know, that's how, that's how life is, and that's how a lot of characters are. Like, if you can get behind the reason why they're doing what they're doing, then it can justify lots of things. If you don't get the reasoning and you don't, or you don't buy into it, um, then it's different. You know, if you can see a person, if you just see uh, Clint Eastwood just taking people out left and right yeah. in a movie for no reason, you're like, what a jerk. But if you get the whole first part of the movie and you see these people kill his wife, kill his kids, you know what I mean? When he is just out collecting firewood and now he, you understand why he's getting revenge the rest of the movie, you're now cheering for it. You're now like, yeah, get yeah, him. Yeah. So um, it, that's always the way with a character. You know, when a character does things that generally are not acceptable, it's always a debate is, well, they deserved it. Or... He had to do it. Or, mm -hmm. no, he still shouldn't have gone that far. You know, that's that's always a debate we can have in life and with sure. characters, for sure. Do you ever uh, feel like there was a character that, their, the actual character that you were voicing made you feel uncomfortable and you wanted to, like, walk away from it? Or was it, do you ever feel like, you know, it's not worth the money, if you, you know, to do this character? I played Mikey the pervert in... <laughs> no, no, I, I did not. No, I, I'm, I don't think... Anybody had a character that made me so uncomfortable. And I'll tell you, the studios have been pretty good, at least in my career, if they are doing something that is of whatever, you know, yeah. of sexual nature or a dark, you know what I mean? Like, this character is really dark. Like, the character, um, you know, I played somebody recently who was sexually harassing, you know, a female that, that worked, you know, underneath him at the company. And, uh, you know, and yeah, I, they warned me about that. And, uh I knew what I was doing, you know, I knew what I was getting into, and it, you know, I did it. That was the character, that wasn't me. But it was, you know, it was a little yucky. You know what I mean? It was a little yucky. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I could see why people would, but it wasn't promoting that. The show wasn't saying, like, this is awesome, this is how you should right, be. Right, right, yeah. I was the jerk. You know what I mean? So, uh, I guess I, there are, there are com things I would turn down, you know, maybe political ads, like a commercial or an ad for, uh, I'm not against, oh, like I'm not the, against people smoking, but I'm not going to use my voice to sell millions of people on smoking. They don't even do right, smoking ads yeah, anymore. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying, you know what I mean? There's certain things like that, but that, you know, but I wouldn't audition in the first place, mm. if that makes sense. So I've never had something where I had to go, this is not, I have to leave. I can't believe you're doing this. Maybe one day. Maybe I have that to look forward to, you know? And I will. I'll put my foot down. <laughs> Say, I won't do this. No. Oh, um, we can close on this final okay. one here. here um, what world that you and only pertaining to the characters that you voiced okay what and on anime only which would you live in Lordy. you like full like that's that's your life that's my life like what character or like what world i could give character? you a i could give you a uh, that's a tough question, I'll say first off. <laughs> because like even if I love the anime, you're like, do I do I really want to live in that world that's so deadly or that's so you know, all this mm. stuff happens in. Um, but I will I will say it because it's one of my favorites. We talked about it. It's not one that I was in, but Death Note. I I, I have fantasized many times <laughs> about having the Death Note. The Death and Note. like that amazing power. When I see things on the news or just things that are horrible or people starting wars and doing stuff far away that they're, you know, that's, that's a little bit of my, I'm usually, I'm a very nice guy, but that's my one dark, is like, it's, and it's a fantasy, I clearly don't have a death note, so don't worry about it, folks. Putin. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, whatever, you know, there's things where you could go like, you know what, yeah. mm. and nope. so I mean, that idea, which is part of why I love that series so much, because yeah. it appeals to me, that appeals to me, I don't want to take anybody out, but I'm just saying, wow, that power would be crazy, would I get that crazed with it? 
Uh, like in that show? I don't think so, but... Well, even the people trying to stop um, Light yeah. from doing it. Well, yeah. they, not knowing that it was Light, but stopping the person writing a death note, they did let the person write in the death note a little bit more to and just they, get rid they, of the... And a lot of them kind of liked it. A lot yeah, of them were like, what's the yeah. problem, you know? Yeah. So it, it's 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 one of those cool stories okay. that you're... It's, it's ambiguous as to, you know, morally ambiguous. Like, you're not sure. Everybody falls in somewhere. I think very few of us would really not, like if you had that power, would never use it. I think if you had that sitting in your room and you'd kept it there for like three months, like I am never touching that, I am not going to use that thing, eventually the news or something would get to you and you'd be like, yeah. okay, just this once because it's, it's too much of a temptation and thank goodness I don't have it. It's interesting because then, you know, there's something that people forget until you watch that last episode and you see light just you know, pass away, yeah. which is he's not going to heaven or hell. And yeah. um, you didn't, he didn't even say spoiler alert. Or yeah, <laughs> well, well, because <laughs> and you thought flash that on before. <laughs> Look at it, it's fine. It's, it's fine. An NG, everybody. Ryuk, Ryuk <laughs> tells him it's like you know if you write in the death note, yeah. you're not going anywhere. Right, right, and right. And it, it's just like I don't care, you know. So is yeah. that how you would also feel? You're just like okay, let's I'm, do it. Listen, I'm not. If given that situation for reals, I would do like what my example was, which would probably be like I will just keep this in a drawer somewhere where no one can get to it. I'm not going to use it. But I'm just saying that temptation would always be there, and yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Oh. So I don't know. I'd like to think, like, right now, if I could make a conscious decision, I would say, no, <laughs> I'm not going to live in that world, and I'm not going to use I'm it. I'm not going to deal with it. it. Yeah, but yeah. I, but I, that's just what popped in my mind, because that's one of the ones I watched, and I go, ooh, if I had that power. And it's not even like I have a bunch of people that I, on my list like I want to take out or anything. I just see things in the world all the time. <laughs> so, But I mean, but, it, but part of it is because you can control what they say. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or what they do in the end. Yeah. That's part of it. It's not just like you're taking people out. It's like you can, you know, have them expose whatever they were doing. You know, whatever paperwork they were hiding, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, that like would be the whole thing. Exposes themselves heart attack. Well, the way you said that, they would uh, drop their clothes. So you wouldn't, oh. word it, you wouldn't word it quite like that. But yes, you could, you could find a way to do it where it's part of it is them confessing stuff that they did. You don't even have to say yeah. what they yeah, confess. Yeah, yeah. Confesses to all the wrongdoings that they've done. Yeah. And... If I'm completely wrong about them, unfortunately, they'll still die. But the confession would be, you know, nothing. They would just be like, I cheated on my wife. And you'd be like, oh, that, I thought you did way more way, stuff. Yeah. So, oops, <laughs> I guess I messed up on that one. But, I mean, you know, it, it would. hopefully you were right and you did the research and it would, you know, uh, it, it would prove itself, bear itself out. And you'd go, ah, see, they did do all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh you lost, lost your picture the, again. We lost the camera again. Did you know, um, actually, at one point that we actually used to sell the actual death note, like, book for writing here i've seen those many times i've signed quite a few of them throughout my uh con career Nobody and actually... a few of them i've written um my death in <laughs> you read it you wrote you written it yourself yeah okay. yeah it's okay. funny because <laughs> i always pick some date like you know way way in the future like 2022 like uh, beginning of october <laughs> it finally happened we just got it on camera <laughs> larry do you want to come in the shot <laughs> all right guys that's it Thank you for watching. This is, Hope you guys have a wonderful this night. This is so good. Keith. All right, bye guys. Super chat. Peace out. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. Just make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, put the notification bell on, and share this video with everyone you know. Thanks for watching.